When creating a new user in OpenPoint Web, it will be important to set up access levels for that user. To start this video, let's kick things off by creating a new user. Navigate over to the Users page by opening the menu and finding the User button under the drop-down next to your username. Keep in mind that only administrator accounts can create users or alter access levels. Click on the orange plus button in the bottom right of the screen and create a new user. For this video, I'm going to create a test account. Let me fill out the details real quick. Now that we have this new user filled out, we can see the Access Roles button on the top right. Click on that, and we can see that they currently have none. Let's see what happens if we log into this user while they have no permissions. As you can see, they can't access anything for the most part. Even if you open the menu, we can only access Open Point Blog and the help document. Not so much helpful. To be able to access anything on the website, we are going to have to log back in as an administrator and set some access rules. I'll be right back when I'm logged in. Here we are, logged into an administrator account again. We can go back to the users page, click on the user that we created, navigate to the access rules button, and select the edit. Now we can set some access levels. Let's give them access to assets and jobs. Something to remember is that access level changes only come into effect when the user that was changed does one of three things. Refreshes the browser, closes and reopens the browser, or logs out and back into the website. Then we can log out and log back into our user again. We can already see a lot of new options available for this user. Clicking on the menu shows that we have access to entirely new pages as well. Jobs, assets, some minor components, and even reports. Setting the right access levels is very important for any new user. 